Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to D in Denial. Tonight, we are streaming the Moonstone Matriarchy, my little all-girl D&D group, and I adore each and every one of you so much. Um, really quickly, I'm going to run you through the shows that we have, and then everyone will introduce themselves. Um, oh, yeah. I'm Jessica. I go by Ice Sneeze Stars online and places like TikTok and Instagram. Um, yes. So... Monday nights, we have the Iowan Adventures at 7.30 p.m. EST. That is DM'd by myself, and uh, it is a Feywild campaign. Tuesday nights, we have the State of the Union, a Shadowrun campaign at 7.30 p.m. EST, DM'd by Coddlesworth. That also includes our very lovely Katie here. Uh, Thursday nights, we have The Lost Continent at 9 p.m. EST, DM'd by Mr. Markham. And Friday nights, we have The Legends of Kralis at 10.30 p.m. EST, a TTRPG created and GM'd by Telerius Game Masters. And currently, for Saturdays, The Moonstone Matriarchy. Uh, don't forget to follow us on YouTube and, you know, join our Discord for more information. And, uh... June, uh, June, yeah, June, take it, take it away. I'm looking at all of you. I'm like, who's who looks like they're watching the screen? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, hi, I'm Juniper, she, they pronouns, um, also known as Linen and Spice, most places on the internet, um, mostly TikTok and uh, Blue Sky. Um, you can also find me playing Alien the first Sunday of the month on Shattered Tabletop Games. Um, that's currently it at the moment for the first stuff I'm in. Um, tonight I'm playing Clover, who is a, uh, tabaxi cleric. Um, I will pass to Scarlet, who's next on my screen. Hello, I'm Scarlet. I, uh, run D&D and Pathfinder games here on Twitch. You can find me on TikTok, either talking about homebrew or rules or, uh, reading the Dungeon Master Guide to Trolls online. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, you can find me next on Twitch tomorrow. I'm running my Out of the Abyss campaign, which I've been running for almost two years now. So see you over at Scarlet64. Uh, let's go for uh, GM of Revan. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> ah. Hi, everybody. My name is GM of Revan. You can call me in. Uh, you can find me on Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, X, whatever the new thing is. Uh, as GM of Revan, I am a map maker and I run games every Tuesday evening. Uh, take it away, Kathy. Hi, uh, I'm Star. You can find me on TikTok at Star Mama C. And I have a podcast called Characters Without Stories, where I talk to people about characters they haven't had a chance to play yet. And I am going to, I, today I'm playing Cappy, who is a Herengon wild magic sorcerer. Well, kind of a Herengon. And I am going to pass it to Katie. Oh, you muted. Hi, I know. Okay. Literally, it was like I started it and I wasn't looking at the thing. And I said, Hi, I might be muted. I think I'm muted. And you were like, Yeah, you're muted. I'm like, great. <laughs> we're on the same page. It's fine. <laughs> I am Katie. Um, I am Dungeon Mistress Katie on all of the things. Um, I don't know what blue sky is, so I'm not on that. Um, <laughs> I, I someday will learn <laughs> that kind of thing. But I'm on all the other things, mostly TikTok um and Instagram as Dungeon Mistress Katie. I think I might have said that already, but uh, as Jess said, I am on Tuesdays on this very channel you are watching right now um, as Claire McKenzie, an orc in Shadowrun. It's awesome. Um, every other Wednesday, I'm on Realm Alternus uh, as a Yellow Power Ranger um, and other things here and there, you know, wherever. Um, but today I'm playing Rosalind. She is an elf and uh, she currently has red freckles across her face. I will who hasn't gone yet uh Delphra I think right yeah so hi I'm Mami Kalik I live under a rock so you can't find me anywhere on the internet uh and I play Delphra a, a winter Eladrin awesome I think that's I everyone think that's it pretty sure Maybe, all right possibly yeah if it's not just interrupt me um also hi Raiders welcome uh we are just starting and Thank you for helping us get to our goal. Uh, okay, so 
last time on the Moonstone Matriarchy, I have learned from my mistakes. Our enchanting party entered the Shadowlands and Leroy Jenkins into a fight with the cursed prince prince's shadow vanguards. Ignoring the vanguard, var for fuck's sakes, vanguard's warnings <laughs> to turn around, uh, a battle ensued. The party emerged victorious. Uh, corpses uh, looted. Corpses looted, the party bunked down for the night. Eight hours later, uh, y'all wake up. Is there anything anyone wants to do before you, before you get gone? I should probably open up my character sheet to see if I have daily preparations that must be made. Fair. I pray. You pray. You pray. Uh, roll me a religion check. Shit, I just... <laughs> Sucker. Uh, I'm never <laughs> praying again. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine. Let me. Are open we my still camera. in that cave, or is the is the moon visible where we are? So you're in the cavern. Uh, there is no moon okay. here. <gasps> there's no stars. Oh. There's nothing. This place. It is dark. Feel cut off. Okay, I mm. I rolled a ten, but I don't know what my modifier is. I'm waiting for it to load. It's being no worries. Uncomfortably slow move my dongle get better mm. internet uh, it's probably very low i don't think i put a lot of uh int so we'll just no worries uh with a 10 you pray you, nothing you're not sure what happens it's it's neutral i don't think i was you expecting don't know if you anything were to happen i think it was more just like out of routine yeah um but you know what does happen our lovely cleric, Clover, as mm -hmm. you awake, what are you doing right now? Um, I am going around and actually just checking in on everybody and seeing how everybody is after, after what happened last night or, you know, after the fight, just seeing if everybody's mentally okay. Just going from person to person. Is there anyone you want to actually uh, interact with right now? Um, if not, I have some. Well, for you. I, I, oh, um, I think it would just be a super quick conversation with everyone. So, um, unless there's anyone wants to talk to me specifically about stuff, I think Rosalind might just give you scritches. <laughs> give you the under the, you under the chin. Scritches. Uh, and once you're, you've made your rounds, you do the very kitty like thing of kind of wandering off for a moment. And as you have that moment of peace by yourself, your mirror image splits from you. One little oh. kitty. Uh, very pale, silvery, wisps, wispy like sits beside you and looks at you and waits. Hello. Don't remember calling you out. The um the kitty gets up, rubs its face against yours, does that whole like walks rubs its whole body against yours and then walks around and does it to the other side. And um Roll me perception. We're going to see if you can feel this. Perception. Okay, I have a plus seven to perception, so total of 19. 19. You feel... You feel Luna in that touch. You feel yeah. your goddess. You get a little lick on the nose. And you hear in your head, they will need your strength. And she circles around you and her tail kind of touches your cheek and pulls your head to look in the direction of sin. And she says to you, she must embrace her destiny. She will be alone until she decides where her loyalties lie. 
I cannot help her here. But you can. I will help her. I will be your hand. I will keep her under my gaze. I will do my best to keep her safe. I know you will. And she nuzzles your face and you hear a little bit of a purr. And <clears throat> she blinks away. Looking over at Sin, what is Sin doing right now? I would probably be like buckling my belt, like folding all my stuff, you know, kind of cleaning up my camp. I um I wander over to you and I just come and nuzzle nuzzle your arm or your hand if I can reach you. And I look into your eyes and say, Luna is with you. I am with you. You'll be Sin, okay. Sin feels a little like, whoa, where'd this come from? Kind of unsettled in a way, almost. I, I, I want to roll myself an insight to see how I'm by take face. Um... uh 14 i mean okay i don't think it's totally i don't think i take it wrong like like a what's that supposed to mean more like oh and luna is with you too pat pat <laughs> kind of maybe <laughs> not not nowhere idea where this is coming from yeah just kind of like thinking it's <laughs> just like encouragement because it's the night is dark and full of terrors uh <laughs> so with a 14 though Maybe you put together the fact that you did just pray. Hmm. Oh. Well, hopefully she can see us once we enter that cavern. I'm afraid that creatures of the dark will be the ones pulling the strings. I love her emo self. I'm with so us. sorry. <laughs> I can't pick an accent. It keeps changing, but you Fair. know, here we are. That's why I don't do accents much. Like I generally can't just keep it. <laughs> I Same. have some great accents. I just I don't know. I've never I haven't it hasn't struck with sin yet. Whatever accent comes out of my mouth is the accent that is happening for that character. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do like a light, a, a light British under my under my mouth with like all of the vocal fry. <laughs> um, are you guys ready to go? You are okay. So you're all packed. In front of you is a gaping maw into a into a mountain. Dark, completely black, pitch teeth? black. Are there teeth? There are. Ma. I'm. Go I am going to need uh, an investigation check from you. There should just be a no. There are no teeth. What the fuck? <laughs> God damn it! All right. <laughs> Give me a second. Is it truly a gaping maw if there aren't yeah. any teeth? Mm. Could be gummy. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, how, and the maw gums you. how gaping is this <laughs> maw? Uh, uh, um, it's gaping. <laughs> Perfect uh, toe. How thick is the gaping maw? It is girthy. Mm. <laughs> so much. Sin that is, is not a word I thought I'd hear today. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, so I'm sorry. What was it again? What can I check? Yeah, in investigation. Investigation, okay. 17. 17. Um, you look at this this uh, opening into the mountain, and for a moment you pause as you're like, I mean, those stones are really jagged, and they kind of do, the stalagmites and stalactites, I believe they are, kind of do end up looking kind of like teeth. But after a moment you're like, no, I'm pretty sure that is just the entrance to a cave. Okay. Now I don't think it is just the entrance to a cave. <laughs> I mean, who can say? Who I would hope that it is 17 that's high enough that I don't get fucked, but you know what? I don't fucking know. 
Unless the gaping maw rolled really high on their fuck roll. <laughs> it is a giant mountain um, of what do we call those? <laughs> Mimics. A mountain oh mimic. God. Oh my God, I have a stat block to create. I know. <laughs> I need to create a corset mimic. Oh. oh right. Kind of love that though. Yeah. Right? Kind of love okay. that. But can yeah. it have a symbiotic relationship with that who wears it so that you it just opens wait, you up in yes. your stomach and eats the... Oh, okay, hold, we're getting off track. We're getting off track. Wait, wait, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> have you guys seen the finger mimic that just kind of like attaches itself and you, it pretends that it's your like finger? Yeah. No. What? So, I need to look this up. That's amazing. Yeah. So like you know, that would totally work yeah. real well. You get and you would get like benefits from it, like or yeah. the, the the mimic cloak. It like eats things on your behalf, and your yeah. the middle just goes. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love this. The cosplay um, would be amazing. That is yes. super mm-hmm. rock and roll. Alas, <laughs> we must go into the darkness. Can we see? Can everybody see? Um, I believe you have a couple people that don't have dark vision. Oh, or... I can cast light on somebody who would like to glow and have both their hands. Okay, I go over to Cappy. Honey. I'm going to pick a finger that's like glowing and I'm going to boop you on the nose. And now you have a nose light. And then I'm uh-huh. going to go up to Anemone and I'm going to point at your nose but then i'm gonna go uh sister where would you like the light to shine from uh one and two uh, <laughs> you know what <laughs> this one. and then she shows off her bracelet Next. i okay i'm gonna like take your hand in my hand in a very like sisterly loving way and kind of like close my eyes and then let go and your bracelet will be glowing wonderful all right, so you have some light cast on you. You have about, I'm going to say, 15 feet of of vision right. before okay. it just falls off into nothingness as the, because the shadows are that oppressive. Um, Does that affect us with dark vision? Do we also see just blackness? You probably after only see feet? up to like 20 feet. That's unsettling. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It, this is this is a world of of darkness. It has been cut off from your planet it is just it's it feels rotten but as you Mm, go ahead no go ahead i was just gonna say what if we did the thing where those of us with dark vision can like go to the 20 foot mark and and like shine that light and then it would give us 40 feet is that a thing we can do and that is smart another person oh like kind of like Spread yeah, out. and just kind of like a chain dark vision situation, if that makes Good sense. Good idea. Yeah, so that we can make sure that none of these wretched creatures, creatures ambush us. No ambushing here. Thank you very much. You are and so Delphi's wise, just... Sister Rosalind. Thank you. I try. Delphi's just <laughs> sitting there with like a whole bunch of energy going like, are we going yet? Can I go crying? Are, are we going yet? Are we going yet? Leroy, I Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh beside her her fox just manifests herself um and is like doing the stompy dance <laughs> right no. like, let's, go, let's go let's go um my son does the stompy dance sorry <laughs> <laughs> i like this game there's always so much cuteness i know <laughs> this is what happens As you when guys, you have an all-girl group we get we get sidetracked so easy i kind of love it though <laughs> As you guys uh, traverse through this treacherous mountain pass, um, the walls kind of give way from rough stone to um, a more refined and intricate formation. The once jagged cave walls transform around you. Would you like to give me a perception check, anyone? Yes. I can do it. I got a 15. Okay. Uh, 23. 25. Okay, okay. We're all rolling. Oprah is like, I want to see something. I want to see something. Okay. (laughs) Uh, You guys all passed the DC. So uh, because you're close to these these cave walls as you're walking, you know, you're trying not to like veer off into any kind of random, uh, you know, pits or caverns. Um, Embedded within the solid rock, 
you can see an intricate pattern. You can see intricate patterns resembling the veins of like blackened obsidian that go through these dark rocks. Um, the patterns shimmer and glimmer when the light catches them as if infused with like a mysterious energy. It casts a very otherworldly and ominous aura throughout the cavern. Uh, the air is heavy with a mix of potent magic and faint and the faint crackling of like suppressed power. It engulfs your sense, your senses, heightening a very, the atmosphere to a very foreboding feeling as you continue your walk. After That's almost beautiful. It's so it's very long. Corrupt so thing. emo. Oh, just something I love her. <laughs> Does your grass cut itself? I don't like it here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that from like our early or the emo years? Does uh, the grass cut itself? Yeah. From our early an, years. An emo lawn. Never oh. mind. That was that was oh, horrible. No. It was a really bad poor taste <laughs> joke. <laughs> Sorry, my bubbly IRL oh. ass just went f- until you like walked me through it, and then I, I you helped me Same. arrive at the destination. Uh, Thank so, you. Bad. <laughs> so bad, so um, bad. As you walk, it takes maybe an hour into this this journey before you realize something else and i'm gonna have you all roll it well i hope you realize something else everyone investigation uh, i did not pass got a 14 14 a 12 a 12 okay and 10 yeah okay 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 um i think with those rolls you kind of see shadows flicker and move in the sides of your peripheral visions, but not much more than that. In front of you, a cavern opens up and you have the option to continue forward. How would you like to do that? Stealthily. Neakily? Mm-hmm. Neakily? Mm-hmm. Would you like to roll stealth, everyone? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. we would. We would like to roll stealth. Although before we do that, um, an enemy is gonna mark this place. Gives me the heebie-jeebies. I hate it. Did we turn off like your it. glowy mm-hmm. nose and your glowy wrists? But then oh. I won't be able to see at all. Well, the dark vision folks can see somewhat. So you can. We'll you can. Hmm. You but will still be able to see somewhat. What yeah. if we get lost or separated? I, Cappy, Cappy. Just jump on my shoulder, or if you like, you know, shoulder. You hold our hands. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hands. Yeah. 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 Who else can't see in the dark? Anyone else can't see? Um. So anemone we're... can't see, right? I can't see. Our, our As you walk clearly into a selected. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then, don't 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 go on then... my shoulder, Cappy. Don't go on my shoulder. Oh. You step on a rake. Yeah, you're rather tall. Here? I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm going to cast Mage Hand and let it hold the hand of uh, one of those who does not have dark vision so that can kind of like pull them in the right direction. That's so cute. And, That's you, so man. cute. Anemone, if, if you consent, I, I would love to sit on your shoulder and then I can tell you, I can whisper in your ear um, to help guide you. Yes, um, please. Yes. We have a seeing eye cat. <laughs> And, a, and, and, and a, a guy hand. hand. A guy, a guy hand. hand. I love it so much. Um, I'll, I'll do that thing where I sit across the shoulders like this with the head just here. Oh, nice. And the tail kind of out the other side. And then Minnie does, cat like, stole. the <laughs> and then Minnie does the, the head bent just towards your cheek for a little bit. Like, mm. she she's not showing. Got one of these. Does, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> totally and not then, showing that I'm loving every second of this. Exactly, completely, 1,000%. <laughs> when, Juniper, your, your sentence, with consent, I'd like to sit on your, uh, my brain did not think you were going to say shoulder. <laughs> 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 I was like, wait a minute. 
<laughs> and then you said shoulder and I was like, oh, I'm the problem. Cool. Love it. <laughs> uh, you're fantastic. You're not the problem. <laughs> I'm the problem. It's me. Uh, uh, so I want to just go up to Sin. Sin, thank you for for the hand. I I didn't used to need this. I didn't used to need to to <laughs> see to. I, Thanks, I used Dan. to be able to see in the dark. Um, did we did we know each other before the wild magic? This is out of character. I'm asking. No, uh, we didn't. Know. Oh, so no. do it. But is it like a like have we had this conversation before? I used to be, no. or is this yeah. so? Okay, so, so okay, okay. Thank you. Now I can let me. Whatever do you mean, sister? <laughs> well, I. Well, I guess I. I used to. Well, so I used to be an elf, and when I was an elf, I could see, and that was great. Um, I liked being an elf, but now. Well, and now I'm a rabbit, and I, I guess it's it's just it's very different, and I'm I'm still kind of getting used to parts of it. It's it's just kind of it's it's sometimes it's a little scary being being a rabbit. How long ago did you change into a rabbit? Well, it's been a few years, um, so I know it's it's kind of weird, but I was I was an elf for a very long time. I've only been a rabbit for a few years. So so when you look at the grand scheme of things, it's it's a very short period of time. Yes, I see. Do you seek a way to return to your elven form or do you willfully choose this rabbitine figure? I it'd be really nice for for it would be really nice if people didn't think it was such a joke. Um, you know, I mean, maybe, maybe like my, maybe my family would be a little bit nicer if I was an elf again. That would be nice. Is that the only reason you desire to become an elf again? Because your family doesn't accept you as you are. I, I guess, I guess there's some things I like about being a rabbit and I didn't choose it it's just kind of who i am now sin is going to kneel down so that she's eye level with you and hold like a, a light kind of in her hand so it's not radiating but it's just so that you can see my face i accept you as you are sister now hold my hand and the mage hand is going to grab your hand <laughs> You will not fall. You will not stumble. But if there are enemies, we will say it and you hold very still. Okay. Let the darkness be your protection. Okay, Bane. <laughs> Let the darkness be your protection. <laughs> I was born in it. Um, <laughs> I took my darkness. permission. <laughs> a little bit of a little bit of uh, Nixaria seems to slip through in that moment. <laughs> it's just the opposite of Luna's protection. It's the new. It's the new moon. The new moon, exactly. Feel comfort in the darkness. It protects you from the eyes of those who would harm you. But what if they can see in the dark? I can see in the dark, and yet I cannot see very far. So unless they are have better eyesight than I do, and I can't imagine that to be the case, I think we should be fine. I will see them before they see you. Okay. Plus, okay. I can cast invisibility on you if <laughs> we need to. Oh, yeah. Um I don't have that spell. <laughs> so that'd be useful, maybe. Uh, um, are we still trying to get by stealthily? Oh, yeah. I did roll for my stealth. Oh, yeah. Um, before yeah, I did, do that. Did this conversation happen before you continued on? 
Yeah, yeah I think so. I think yeah. so. Yes. So All before right. we roll for stealth, I'm going to uh, cast Pass Without a Trace. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice. Cool, cool, nice. cool. Everyone add plus 10. Oh, fuck yes. Oh, sister. 27. <laughs> Love that. 27. Not sure okay. how I want to take that yeah. right now. 26. But okay. <laughs> 26. Okay. 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 Five gifted subs. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks. As- I, I got a 24. 24. Okay. Wow, guys. Awesome. Uh, Katie, you're muted, my love. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I also got a 24. Once okay, the good, 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 added. good, good. Oh, we are so sneaky. 27. Uh, 27. And, and okay. Anemone? 29. 29. Anemone just disappears <laughs> into the darkness. You guys aren't quite sure. She has a seeing eye cat now, and she has become one with the shadows. She, she like, um, taps off her little light bracelet and just goes, gone. Gone. <laughs> gone. This giant friggin' Goliath is just, like, one with the night. Um, (laughs) as you guys very sneakily begin to pass through this giant cavern that seems to open up around you. Now, I'm going to make a roll for something. One minute. We're going to see what happens here. Okay. Okay. Roll for encounter. Okay. Uh, I After this, I'm actually going to have you guys roll for encounters because I have a whole bunch of them. Uh, so, as you sneak through this place, you feel suddenly a gust of wind almost. Not quite, but something very, very warm breathes out and onto you and large you no. can discern from that does it feel like an exhale like you know like it's moist like air breath. do you want to it <laughs> roll me roll me perception oh no oh no oh no oh no <laughs> i don't like this 18 18 <sighs> it's 26. moist no don't say 26. that 26 is large it's moist and it feels fairly close by. My, my mage hand is squeezing Cappy's hand like, stop, 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 <laughs> Yeah. Everyone I felt just whis- that. I whisper and, in oh, Anemone's ear, I think something just really breathed on us. With your 26, I'm going to say you even hear a little rumble. <gasps> something large. What was that? Did it, is it a roper? Is it? Is this my much karma? Because I, I so gave a roper worse. to my players last time that I played with them. Is that what I get? <laughs> there are things far worse than ropers. <laughs> In the dark. Recently. In the dark. The <laughs> Why do I sound like Jon Snow? <laughs> uh, you need more of that. You need more of that English like like yorkshire kind of like no there's a rupa yeah there we go is that is that a not john's no you're just happy to see me <laughs> <laughs> i'm crying I okay. somehow kind of australian sorry about that <laughs> Channel- oh, oh, no. Like, oh no oh no, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um I'm so sorry to the Australian in the, this game. The Australian in our game is like, no. I feel like I need to exaggerate everything now, like to <laughs> exaggerate it. You said, oh no, earlier, and it didn't come out as R and R, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> um, oh. All, all my drow in my campaign have an Australian accent because they are from Dianunda. <laughs> love yeah, that, that and one of, one of my players that. is australian and uh she's just like that is a terrible 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 ass <laughs> you have to love me i don't care <laughs> i'm sorry uh, what's breathing on us before you nestled within the heart of this cavern lies 
a very large shape that comes into view. Gigantic, you would say. Is it breathing? Taking up, it is breathing. Taking up most of this cavern. I look really hard at it. (laughs) You look really hard at it. And (laughs) as you do that, (laughs) does anyone do anything? in this moment you just uh, watch it i'm looking can't really even see it, it. <laughs> watching trying to see if Holding it's something recognizable i'm trying to identify what this is you want to investigate yes. without like fully going forward i suppose but my i should have put i should have taken investigation points everyone is welcome to roll this nine uh, if you can't see in the dark with disadvantage nine what are we rolling uh, investigation. Not twenty. He rolled a not twenty. Of a five. So okay, okay, okay. You know what? I'm gonna say with a nat twenty, you even know what this might be. <laughs> you know, you even know who this might be because you oh. have heard of them before. The name? Yes. It's a who? A oh who. gosh, what's? It's a whoville? Who? <laughs> before you lies, like, we can, like charm it into not killing us. Oh. Before you lies the mighty obsidian, a blind dragon, massive, old, a void dragon, and the guardian of Tenbrosa. Fuck is a void dragon? What the fuck is a void dragon? Uh, Um, Look at look at Scarlet's face, and that is all you need to know. Um, what the fuck is I don't dragon? know. I, so that okay. The reason I have this face is I'm kind of like the expert of D and D dragons. On you don't TikTok, know what a void dragon is, and I Ooh. have not read about a void dragon. <laughs> oh, I'll send you. I'll send you something. Oh, I, don't, yeah. um, oh, I don't know what it oh, is. Yeah, I, I, would sin? It. Would sin be familiar with void dragons? Not with a nine. <laughs> nope. I'm just like that um, pile of rocks is breathing. <laughs> I. Anemone, you feel my claws just very gently cling into your shoulders, <laughs> just a little bit, not enough to hurt you, just a little bit. And you just hear me say in, in your ear, gather everyone up. This is bad. Oh, gather um, their just kind of, weapons. I'm just kidding. Well, um, we do, I, <laughs> Anemone with um, Clover on their back will go to the person ahead of them uh, very gently because she is like the knight uh, at the moment. And then mm-hmm. just... Just brush past and be like, hey, come here, uh, to the person in front and then going towards the others in behind. Uh, finding Cappy, they'll go, hey, come here. And then Delphra and then Rosalind, like she would just find everybody along the way because she's been keeping a strong eye on everyone just because she doesn't want to stumble and or make a lot of noise. Um, and gather everybody together in a bunch um, and say, uh, okay, we have to be very quiet. Uh, I will whispering once everybody's together, I'm just going to whisper super quiet, like, so you can barely hear it, but just share. Um, This is, this is the mighty obsidian. Um, It's a void dragon. It's blind. Um, it's the guardian of Temporosa. Is it? Well, this isn't really Temporosa anymore, right? So maybe the dragon isn't bad. I mean, it's not the I guardian don't... of of the shadow curse, right? Void and the shadows I'm... go hand in hand. Well, I'm just saying that what what we're in now isn't really Tembrosa anymore. And what Tembrosa used to be wasn't bad. So if this dragon is the guardian of Tembrosa and not the guardian of this shadow curse, then maybe it's an, not going to hurt us. And potential ally. Right. Do, do we know uh, anything about Obsidian, like the stories or lore, now that we have a name? Uh, you can roll history for me. Why didn't I not take history? Can we all <laughs> roll history? I really want Everyone to can do that. One. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to give it 
18. Not okay, okay, okay. You <laughs> nice. know what? It makes sense that our, our druid knows who what about this dragon, okay? Uh, you know, you know the stories and you've heard them from other sources than just myths passed down by mortal creatures. You've heard them from the trees themselves. Obsidian is what's holding the shadow lands in. He is what stops it. His power alone is what stops it from bleeding into Salandria. So he is with, an ally. So with that, um Delphra is going to like slowly approach the dragon with like kind of like her hand just out just to kind of like here like a dog like sniff my hand wait you little um, is it awake or giant is it a mound <laughs> i i'm going to give this to uh our nat 20 perception um as you guys had gone in you had heard very peaceful very steady breathing in and out but as you have been talking now that you're paying attention to one of your party members moving forward, you realize that's quieted down some. And at that moment, when you walk forward, Delphra, you hear a a laugh, a gentle, (laughs) I may be blind, but my hearing is excellent. And And then... kind of just go up to it still hand out right and they're just kind of trying to like pet it and be like we didn't mean to disturb you are you gonna boop it on the snoot because i feel like you're I, gonna I, boop I, it on the snoot. I'm, I'm not gonna boop it i'm gonna pet it you pet you gentle pet the snout. very G- gentle 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 and it's gonna eat you i feel like it's gonna eat you a rumble goes through the cave i'm not a bard so i can't seduce it okay and no. lights torches around you begin to light up my i'm like oh too <laughs> bright oh out of here you pet you can see your lovely obsidian dragon its eyes white L- lets you pet it doesn't make a move to attack okay and he goes are we to fight then, little ones? No. And, and Delphus is like, no, no. We, we appreciate not. everything that you're doing here. And we, we don't want you. to disturb you at all. We, we just, just want, want to you. crawl through that little hole beside you and save the world. <laughs> I offer you a different path then. Not a fight. And stop it. Don't make the face. It. Not another riddle, please. <laughs> <laughs> we suck at riddles, guys. <laughs> well, uh, Juniper's a really challenge of the mind. So, like, we're usually okay. I don't know. <laughs> if you seek passage through to Tenbrusa, you must prove your worth in a game of riddles puzzles and truth of course oh is God. this morrow's in surprise in, in disguise <laughs> no it is a giant dragon in front of you he's just bored <laughs> honestly he's fair himself forever yeah. fair. <laughs> and here's delphra just like continuously like like counter offer sure? he's, like, he's fully counter letting you offer. pet him would you like to pet our cat clover <laughs> <laughs> Clover yeah, like buddy, tries to dive inside him and his shirt. Just like, <laughs> no, <laughs> kitty. You will answer my riddles, solve mm. my puzzle, and then provide me with a truth that has eluded my ears from oh, the boy. passage of time. Succeed, and a path to Tenbrosa will be yours. Oh. Fail. Well. And the dragon in front of you kind of almost smiles. No, oh, I don't like that at all. Yeah. But then leads into another pet from Delphra. Yes. <laughs> Keep finessing. And like, you're doing great. 
And like Delphra at this point is just like completely like leaned into its neck, just half falling asleep, petting this dragon. <laughs> you get, you, you almost hear a purr. It's a little soft yeah. rumble that goes through him. Um, and surprisingly, I'm going to say you feel very safe, Delphra. Oh, God. <laughs> at least right now. If we fail his little puzzles, I'm sure he'll just let us find another route. Of you course. Say. Down his esophagus, yeah. No, Clover, <laughs> stop. <laughs> the smell of your fear. And then Minnie has got like a, a cat, you know, if you've, if you've ever seen the one cat video person um, where she's got like a great tabby, like and then he is full on feeling claws around her neck area, another <laughs> claw on her shoulder. And then she's like holding Clover up, like, oh. Clover's trying very hard not to actually hurt you <laughs> with the claws. Just, you know, That's, like, my cat does cling. that to me. She's like, yeah. And she's like, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Like, very awkwardly, does not know what to do with the one hand. Oh, Aww, Ma. That's so sweet. Oh. <laughs> I am going to gaze upon this void dragon and just silently admire how beautiful it is. You're used to gazing into the void, so. <laughs> oh, okay. I get it. You're, you're, it fierce. you're fierce. Sits up a bit. <laughs> and you see behind you a tall monolith, a couple of them, about four, with stone rings kind of going up them, about four of them. And he goes, what shall it be? Is he asking which of those stones? What should the monoliths? No, he's totally asking you if you want to do this or you want to fight. I mean, oh, we don't want to fight. We don't want to fight. No fighting. No fighting. No fighting. No fighting. No. For, mm, for okay. once, Delphra is just like, chill. Go to sleep. Go, Go to bed. bed. Shh. Sleep. <laughs> Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Um, he asks you, it's simple. I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have no body, but I come alive in the wind. What am I? So bad, he's goddamn. I speak without us. a wait. Hold on, I speak without a mouth. I will put it in chat for you. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <Thank God. laughs> like, hold on, I speak without a mouth. Here with their out I, ears. Here without ears, I come alive with the wind. Go. No body, but come alive in the wind. Is that right? Did I do that right? I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have no body, but I come alive with the wind. What am I? Hey, what's something that comes alive with wind? Waves? An open mouth? Water? Like a, waves. Mm, water? like a flag or a windmill? or. But it says it has no body, which makes me believe it's uh, incorporeal. Um, yeah. Uh, like clouds also made me think it comes out so like i uh, hmm? what was echoes. that do you say that yes I don't like the way you said that delphra as you are cuddled into this void dragon's large neck uh and you say echoes you get a small nuzzle very very short very 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 soft into you and he goes, very good, little <gasps> one. Yay. Our Delphra <laughs> yeah. is so smart. <laughs> that hurt my brain. <laughs> very good. You're so smart. I'm really bad at these types of riddles, actually. So am I. So am I. I can't. My brain hurts. I only know them if I've heard them before because I have a good memory. But figuring them out on my own, uh-uh. And he says to you, now each of you a truth that nobody knows no one wait is he asking us to tell a secret he is yeah he's gossip 
Oh, he's God. so alone. <laughs> he's oh, so alone. Sin is going to turn beet red and just kind of like like go into the hedges, kind of like Homer Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> he wants the tea. <laughs> I'm so bored. You can live with us. I can't um, <laughs> Clover kind of hops down out of Anemone's arms um, and gently crawls forwards and um his large she, head she, turns toward you she lifts her head up and says see this silver coin hanging off my bow no <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> So she okay. <laughs> Duh. Clo- if Clover could blush, she would be blushing real hard right now. Sorry. So she kind of um, she she kind of you know when you know when dogs scratch their neck in the collar and it kind of jingles. Um, mm-hmm. she she does that His to, ear make, toward, to make it make noise. You. And she says, "This this silver coin is." the only thing I have left from my life before the sisterhood. I I had nothing except my friends. And we, as a group, we all tried to find food and stay away from everybody. We lived in the sewers for a bit, which wasn't so bad, really. But this is all I have left. It came from my parents and it's a little silver coin. And I haven't really told anybody that. You see his head kind of tilt side to side as he considers. He, goes, he nods. That's what you get from him. I slink backwards, back behind an enemy. Who's next? We all have to say something. Uh huh. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I have to think. Other people go before me. I need to think about this. Okay. Um, and Emily will will look towards Clover and be like, I, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna step ahead, uh, Clover as well." And she walks forward very, very, very confidently towards this dragon, and she goes. Master Obsidian, uh, I am Anemone. I am a warrior of the Moonlight Guardian set. Um, so this eye thing that I have, I mean, to my sisters, there's, it's kind of a secret. She kind of goes closer away from where Delphi is and going towards the other side. Do you mind if I just scream? His, his ear here? comes down so that you can hear it. Okay, so, uh, so um, this eye thing, um, I was gifted it by um, by the goddess, and they said that uh, it has something to do with the sun, and I don't know how it works, because it's an eye thing that looks like a weird dragon eye thing and they said that i i had to protect it and i mean it's on my face that is my secret you you catch his attention with that and he sits up away from delphra turns to you and you big smell as he takes in your scent ah uh, okay very juicy it's good yeah 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 that that's my secret uh, uh i appreciate you keeping it um i know it's juicy gossip but like yeah yeah okay and then she walks confidently back to where clover is studying attention and she kind of pats her shoulder just like pops up there we go not too bad guys not too bad so Delphra is just like nuzzling up to this dragon. You go, you go back up to him. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna be like, I'm not wearing underwear. 
<laughs> I don't know if that counts as a secret. I Most mean, I didn't, I didn't don't know that. Knew. No. Most druids don't. <laughs> I just whispered to Anemone, I'm also not wearing underwear. I'm not I'm wearing underwear that. either. Me neither. <laughs> Uh, I will give you a second chance. What? He didn't like that answer? Come on. Uh, that was that cool. was not a good enough. <laughs> a secret that nobody knows. <laughs> Come on now. Nobody knows that. I saw you. <laughs> Did God, I, I, I look at Delphra. We all knew. <laughs> <laughs> we all knew that. <laughs> Come on now. Because <laughs> we also aren't wearing any underwear. <laughs> It's just part of the whole thing, right? Like, yeah, who wears yeah. underwear? We did literally see have, you like, dress like the other day. The opposite. We don't have underwear. <laughs> it's against our our religion to Luna to wear underwear. <laughs> it's part of the uniform. You gotta, gotta let, let that the shit You wow. can't moon people if you have underwear on. Exactly. Oh ah, that's, that's that it. is yeah. fair. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> we literally dance naked at the Tree of Lunar Delights. Like, like we underwear. know. Like, we, why we know. would you wear underwear? That's just one less thing, one more thing you have to take. You off. only wear underwear when you want right. to seduce a male, and we are not currently seducing any males, so there's no point for having underwear. Fair. It's a good point. You'll <laughs> turn to someone else for now as you <laughs> reconsider. Um, Rosalind will walk up to him and uh, you see for the first time she she's not her usual sort of serene self anymore mm -hmm. um she sort of you can see her kind of stimming a little bit like messing with her hair and doing this thing that she does or really i do let's be clear um and she just like she says um really quietly so the others can't hear it because like she's it, it's just not a thing she's willing to to let other people know um, He'll bring his head down to you. Um, I, I let someone, I let someone die to save my family. Quiet. And then you also get a little nuzzle. He sits back. Oh, okay. Okay and walks away mm -hmm. okay obsidian um have you heard of Maisie Sirena no oh I guess you you haven't been out a whole lot um well this is so this is kind of celebrity gossip um so... and you immediately like oh give me the tea <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even if you don't know the celebrity, I guess it's still fun. Um, but she's my mother. Um, and um, you, I, I, well, I guess if you don't know who she is, then it doesn't really matter. But, um, but nobody really knows who I am because they think I'm supposed to be an elf because Maisie Sirena's daughter is supposed to be an elf. And... I'm not so that's so that's it do you want to be well that's that's what everybody wants you feel what since mage hand give want? you a little squeeze we don't want you to be anything other than what you are I just want, I just want people to know that I am not a failure. I'm does not make, wrong. Does you being not human or humanoid make you a failure? Elfoid, excuse me. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> well, to some, I, I mean, yeah, to some. 
they would be wrong. I'm trying. I just want, I just want people to, to know that I can be a hero too. And, oh, you know, yes. we come from a big family of heroes, big, big heroes out saving the world all the time. And, you know, my mom and my brothers, they're just, there's everybody just loves them. They're always saving people. And I just really wanted always to be like that. And then well, this happened, and, and now I can't be one of the famous fighting sirenas. His form changes to that of a, I mean, a larger bunny. And he says, would you fight me like this? Well, I, I don't, that'd be kind of weird, I think. Um, would you be an angry bunny? Would you? Would I would you... have all the same powers I have now. Well, I don't really want to fight you. So then power is not in your form. And heroism is in your heart. Yeah, I never really thought of it like that. He stays in bunny form. Oh. What, col what color is his bunny form? <laughs> Black. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, cute. I, I like, like the like night. <laughs> is he huge or is he large or is he uh, he's like gigantic? He's like ape-sized bunny. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, so like bigger a gorilla, than me. Like a yeah. gorilla size? Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. It's a little bit yeah. less intimidating, I think, than yeah. what he was a second ago. <laughs> and then he, his like back leg comes up, and he like scratches his ear really fast, <laughs> like that, like thump, 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 thump. I feel like all of us just go, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're also does he have a thick bunny, neck? But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so thick. Um, <laughs> guys, they have been they have been trolling me about my does he have a thick neck <laughs> all week. <laughs> ah, welcome to the game. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, Delphra, would you like to try again or sin? I would like to go last if mm -hmm. that is all right. Only because I tend to be a bit dramatic. Yeah. The the bunny kind of hops over in your direction again and then also puts his head out for more scritches. So I just start scritching his head. I'm like looking at the ears like just um but uh Delphogen how am I gonna word this? Damn my life <laughs> she just she just kind of goes whispers into its ear like kind of like brings the ears out <laughs> it's just like nobody no like nobody knows who i am i don't even know who i am i don't remember my life before joining the sisters at all so i go forward because i have nowhere else to go very juicy <laughs> was that sarcasm <laughs> no he okay. enjoys <laughs> gossip. He loves okay, gossip. Okay, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> it just sounded so. Uh huh. I'm uh, I'm kind of like oh amnesia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what would you like to to say, Sin? Oh, it's my turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sin will approach, and she is going to say this so that only Obsidian can hear. Take one of his large ears. She's going to look him dead in the eyes with the most serious expression. Like, I he can't you see to... you. Oh, God. <laughs> He's blind. God damn it. I fell for it. <laughs> I'm, I still, love so much. I'm still, I'm giving him the dead stare. <laughs> She's going to say, I am a disciple of Luna. I am soul bound to Nyx. I thought I smelled her. It's disgusting, isn't it? He shrugs. 
she it drugs is too. what it is. <laughs> it is <laughs> what it is. Uh, he goes, I accept these truths. And then he hops over to those those monoliths. He hops. He hops. Yeah, he has not changed back into his form at all. I love um, dragons so much. Right? Uh, he points you towards these monoliths. And as you go over, you realize that they are covered in lunar glyphs. Uh, they are imposing structures uh, about, they have four rotating circular rings between them. And each one is etched with a series of eight lunar symbols that I'm going to post for you right now. Uh, that none of those came up. Are you joking me? Your mom is a whore. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they did. They did. They did. Okay, there we're good. Are. We're fine. Um... <laughs> Just so you know. My mom being a whore is not an insult. It is just a fact. <laughs> it's just a fact, okay? <laughs> um, <laughs> he says, uh, what, what do you do when he points these out to you? Would you like to investigate? Yeah, I think it would be like, oh, we know what this means. Maybe. Okay. Can I do like an arcana on it? See, it, you can. It's magical. Okay. Yes. Roll arcana. Whatever you think you could oh. would work best for you. Roll yeah. that. Tell me what it is, and I'll tell you what you find out. Thirteen. Oh, okay. I got I a will... sixteen for investigation. Yes, for investigation. All right. In front of those four, uh, those four plinths are is um, I'm sorry. In those four monoliths is a plinth that has um. Where do I have this here? That has images, four of them, in uh, carved into it from top to bottom. In the same vicinity as, you know, your four monoliths. And you definitely think that that has to do with this puzzle. Who's next? 17 for Arcana. For Arcana? Okay. 17 for Arcana is great. Yes, this is full of magic. Uh, is that enough to tell you what you think it does? Full of magic, and I'm going to say that you can figure out that it is... Uh, I believe it's transmutation. I'm just going off the top of my head here trying to figure out which type this would do. Uh, yes. Anyone else? I rolled a 13 arcana, so... I'm with sure. your 13 arcana, you pick up that this has to do with something with the rings. Perhaps moving them? I will actually go closer to the where Obsidian is so that Clover can, can see it better. Um, Anemone has no idea what magic this is, but just to kind of help with whatever role that Clover is doing. Roll and then perception, like, though. You I can get you can have advantage and I Clover, by the way. Throw them. Okay. Now, would we know um, that any of this is related to history or religion wise? Yeah. Okay. So I want to roll for religion. These are familiar for you. Yeah, roll it. What are you wait, what was that? Sorry. Uh, religion? Yeah, roll it. Roll it. 100 percent Uh 21. 21. Okay, yeah. Um, on the, on the, um, the circles, the flat circles that can be moved, you see those symbols. They are the new moon, the waxing crescent, the first quarter, the waxing gibbous, the full moon, the waning gibbous, and the last quarter, and then the waning crescent. They are the full phases of the moon. There's seven total. Eight. Eight. Okay. Was that that wasn't what was on the plinth though? Have have we have we seen no, it what's is on not. the plinth yet? Um, um if go ahead. Uh, would you accept perception if um anemone holds me over the plinth so I can see what's on that? Yes. 
Um, that, that's a 25 if it's perception. With a 25, you see on the plinth, you see a constellation of an owl bear. Um, and you think it's Aviathor, which is just a well known uh, owl bear in your like uh, constellation in your world, your side of the world. Um, you see a compass rose star. Um, you see a circle with a line through it. Um, along the left side is shaded in with uh, obsidian, signifying like a specific type of. Well, I'm not gonna. I can't give that away to you. Um, and then you see a comet. Uh, with your perception, Anemone, what did you get? Anemone is not doing very well. Uh, she's she's like, this is out of my, this is out of my my wheelhouse. Um, ten. Ten. I mean, the stones look like they move, like they rotate. Um, and underneath them, at the very base of your monoliths is an inscription though you can't read it i'll whisper that or point that out to clover um i'll look where anemone's indicating does anyone speak celestial i i i, I do you do I do. Mm. It's the only exotic language I know. Well, pointed out to you, you can read it. And it says, when darkness descends and the celestial bodies align, the way forward reveals itself. Is that like a... I'm going to like read that out loud as I'm I will, translating it. I will it. also put that in chat for you. I am suspicious that the rings on these monoliths must be aligned probably in the order of the lunar cycle in order to open the way when darkness descends that's the new moon right um i mean we are in darkness i'm not sure if it maybe it does is it begin to do with an eclipse like if if maybe. the planets are in line there could be an eclipse of you said the rings have like the lunar cycles on them. They do. And we could like like manipulate them in order to like put them in there order. There are four rings. Okay. And you see on the floor there's like a spot where you would need to learn to line up these four rings mm -hmm. with whatever your answer is. Um so there are None of the uh, lunar glyphs are in order or line up together. Does each ring have the full uh, cycle on it? It does. Okay, so there's four spaces, and we can put mm -hmm. any of those eight symbols in each space. Is what Only you're saying? Four. Yeah. Right. Any so of those eight, eight, yeah. Any of those eight symbols in that in those ring, four spaces. Each ring has eight options. Mm -hmm. we have to pick one two three four of those eight yes and it says when darkness ascends and celestial bodies align the way forward reveals itself uh I and there's oh. four different pictures on the plinth so i'm guessing that each of the four plinth pictures corresponds to a ring um but i'm not sure like what does an owlbear constellation have to do with or a compass rose yeah, can we ask the DM for a hint? You can. Remember <laughs> that you also have those spe that special ability. Right, just because I'm so bad at visualizing. I'm so, trying so hard to imagine. <laughs> somebody roll me... You can... Somebody roll me a history check. 18. I'm not very good at history. 18? I also That's got enough. an 18. Woohoo. I've got a 25. Mm -hmm. So Ooh. 
it, you guys, you, I mean, immediately recognize this. Aviathor, Aviathor the, the owl bear, is a constellation that is uh, associated with the full moon in Salandria. Okay. Oh, I'm going to like boof the full moon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, underneath there is a compass rose star. Does anyone? I don't know what that means. Okay. Um, there's a specific star that is um, on the corner of maps for a compass rose. It's called. And that is north, east, south, west, that kind of thing. Okay. And it's there for a specific reason, because it represents something. The North Star? The North Star. Beautiful. Okay. It does. I don't know what, how that's hey, but associated what, with the which, moon. Which moon does, what moon does that our associate beautiful, with? Our beautiful druid with, was it, well, you were the 25, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, immediately wait, hold on. Goes, do I know something? Immediately goes, well, the North Star is brightest during the new moon phase. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. You're so smart. (laughs) (laughs) I said that so sincerely. That was that was sin. Be like, you are so smart. I forgot about that. I forgot you were smart. And and I'm just like, no, I remembered she's smart. I just forgot that. (laughs) We we just we just forget because I'm like head first. Bye. Bye. Pet yeah. dragons and jump right. in the shadows. You're still, it's you're fine. still just like scritching. Um, yeah. I'm more, I'm more like, like kind of like panicked because I just said something out loud that I don't want anybody to know, and I'm just like, <laughs> and I'm just sitting here like just pat, pat, nonchalantly. Pat, pat. Like, so what do we? Yeah, know his little bunny foot is, or his little compared to <laughs> comparatively is uh like thumping as you like scratch mm-hmm. what is do we know about the comet? adorable yeah. <laughs> yeah that's the, the well, comet is what i'm yeah what, what i'm not moon sure about the be... comet but the next one up actually looks kind of like the phase of a moon itself like it's it's a circle with a line through it and the left side shaded so a that kind of actually looks like that first looks quarter? like first quarter yeah first yeah. first quarter oh, that makes yeah. sense to you totally we're we put, like we are sisters of the moon this is like <laughs> it's like we're remembering makes... like when we were in third grade what did we learn <laughs> <laughs> um, now well, this then one... would it make sense for the third quarters to be the comet because those would be the four quarters of the moon i you don't know welcome what... i'm i'm missing i'm missing four other symbols i didn't get the rest so i'm just like typing as we go no, this They're, is the, you're, 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 you're doing the Lord's work in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh yeah, what do we know about the comet? Okay. So I will let you roll me a history or an arcana because it's it's lore. And it's it's uh I got a twenty one arcana. Twenty one arcana. Oh. Cappy, immediately you recognize you put two and two together and you remember the waning wanderer which mm. is a comet that passes over Salandria in ancient lore uh has to do with um gifting magic and sorcery and it passes over once a month during the waning crescent moon okay oh this the comet that one is the waning crescent of course that's a, a very special comment to me. My hand, lot, you know, magic. My mage you know. hand is going to give your hand a little like squeeze. Of, Good job. <laughs> my my mage hand is still there. It's just like holding your hand. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I'm not uh, letting go. <laughs> do you align everything? And how do you align it? From top to bottom, from bottom to top. Is there a way that Same it aligns on the- with the plinth? Yeah. So mm-hmm. you uh you align you align them like top to bottom then what, you, what the what the order of the 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 art is okay yeah if that makes sense why does this feel okay. like a trick yeah I don't like <laughs> there's a right and wrong like, answer here this right I don't I think it's like, a trick as you <laughs> totally the door, right? click click and put these four rings in order. The ground begins to tremble. 
in front of you. Because of course it does. Because why not? The stone <laughs> rings themselves begin to spin, oh, opening good. a portal. Mm. Oh. A path between here and Tenbrosa. Oh, so it's a good rumble. We it's didn't just rumble. try to die. Let's okay. get ready to rumble. <laughs> I keep remembering that you said at the beginning, I've yet to kill a player. I've, I've yet to kill player. anyone. <laughs> Maybe I'd today's be, maybe this is the campaign though, because I, I, I know would what be comes. So honored <laughs> <laughs> if I could murder you. Um, <laughs> uh, as you as this power ignites and this portal opens up, uh, Obsidian stops and begins to transform back into himself, and he says, "Before you rush off, little moonlings." I love when they call us moonlings. I know. (laughs) He (laughs) produces some gifts for you. (gasps) I like presents. Santa? (laughs) (laughs) You're going to get, and I'll put these all in chat, a shadow amulet, which uh, while wearing this, you gain resistance to necrotic damage. Is this for everybody, Ooh. or is, is are these like specific these, items that you we will get out? six items right now? Okay, so one for each of you. Um, additionally, once per long rest, you can choose to have advantage on a stealth check. A void strike blade, which is it deals an extra one d six radiant damage on a successful hit. Uh, a cloak of twilight, which provides a plus one bonus to AC and advantage on saving throws against being charmed or frightened. Can the rogue can the rogue claim that? Just just, just take it. Thing. <laughs> a spectral Rosalind. orb of knowledge, which um grants the user advantage on intelli- intelligence based checks. A Whoever shroud the best user dumbest person. That. Sorry. No, no, no. The best, our best intelligence person should have that so that they just do Sh- all fly of through the this. checks for us. Yeah. My intelligence is plus five. Or plus oh. two. You, oh, you see never mind. A, uh, a shroud of eternity, which is the wearer basically gains advantage on saving throws against spells and magical effects. There is uh, a I, moonlit that. serenity circlet. Which, um, while wearing this circlet, you have advantage on wisdom saving throws and can cast the moonbeam spell uh, once per long rest without expending any spell slots. Additionally, the circlet emits a calming aura that grants your allies within 10 feet of you advantage on saving throws against being frightened. As well as six greater healing potions. Ooh. Hmm. why do we need the healing potions i want to know i mean who why. can say who can say what you could lies say. ahead in the say, darkness you that could say. yeah this is suspicious that circlet might be good for either me or clover mm-hmm. uh clover because i think clover fits the whole vibe of calming yeah. us but because me as a warlock i don't have very many spell slots that is like like 30 percent more spells i can cast uh mm. but we could talk about it in the discord if you want to 100 i did post it for you perfect so that it's all there um and because of all of those lovely secrets that you have shared he turns towards anemone and says a name for future reference that you may want to look up is Orlanth. And I'll I'll put that in the chance for you uh, in chat so you can have the spelling of that. Um, if anyone wants to see if they know that name, you are more than welcome to do so with a history check. 11 11 not a clue uh 20 like 20 yeah dirty 20 single digits nine got a whole lot of an eight okay uh a radiant dragon goddess 
Ooh. Oh, is that Obsidian's that girlfriend? <laughs> Might be. Who knows? You can ask him. <laughs> I feel like that is so typical. Sexy, hot, radiant goddess with her emo boyfriend. <laughs> I think I think as as soon as uh, Obsidian says the name, like I just can't help blurting out, like, "Oh, the radiant dragon goddess." <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you know her? Do you love her? I mean, she's very nice. Yes, she's quite lovely. Uh, Does she wear underwear <laughs> <laughs> on occasion. <laughs> Speaking of people who don't wear underwear, uh, Delphra. <laughs> yeah, come, come see me sometime. <laughs> Delphra's just going to wink and be like, you got it. All right, daddy. I can, I can be anything you desire. Dragon um, daddy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and for Kathy, he pulls out something extra. Aww. Uh, it's a small little locket that he hands over to you. He says, not that you need it, but should you choose and desire it, it casts true polymorph. Only on the wearer, though. I love that. Oh. Thank you. I, I don't quite know what to say i i don't know if i i i appreciate having the option but i don't know if i'll take it it's your choice and i was Since i was gonna give you a little like bunny <laughs> oh I was gonna give you like a little bunny nose touch but you're a dragon now so it might be a little bit weird but um Anyways, yeah. And you feel, guys, that the shadows in this cave seem to, are they're much less oppressive than they were when you first came in. Yes. Good luck, little moonlings. And he gestures towards the portal. Delphish is going to be like, Thanks, Daddy, and just kiss him on the nose and just run in. Excellent. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins! Um, <laughs> you dive through the portal. Like, uh, sick moonsicle out, just like supermanning it. Woo! You're atop of you. I'm like, shaking my head. It, like, she, had <sighs> it, she had disappeared for a while, but your nine tails comes out and just dives over top of you, so it's like two, one on top of the other, and then you both disappear through. Uh, <laughs> do you guys follow? Oh yeah, yeah, I'll hop right in. Uh, can we can we check for traps? <laughs> you can check for traps. Would you like to roll? I'm sure, um, I would have set them off already. <laughs> right, Delphi just did check for traps. Trap on us, she's stuck on the other side. The You're way I check for traps is I just watch Delphi oh, run yeah, through, no. and I just see if any traps go off. <laughs> That's Seven, a great way to do that. <laughs> if I died today, guys. Don't do what I do. Arcana or perception? A uh, what? Arcana or perception? You want to roll for traps? I uh, oh, I love that I get the second option. Um, so give me a second because I I managed <laughs> to, to make my thing go away. Um, perception's higher, so I'm gonna take that. But if I'm looking for magic, I'm gonna go Arcana. 20 dirty 20, 20. Wait, dirty 20 yeah um it looks legit oh it looks like he has opened the gateway to go okay. and through his power letting you pass through this this world i waste and, like a dirty 20 love it like on the other side you just hear delphra come on guys let's go let's go, let's go. <laughs> i'm gonna like walk stride past look at the dragon who i know can't see me but just like admire his majesty and then <laughs> point my nose up and cross the barrier like the most emo thing you've ever seen. Imagine your 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 um um uh, what is it the word I'm looking for? Um admiring his girthiness. 
He's so he's girthy. a girthy motherfucker. I don't know why, but creatures of shadow just hit different. <laughs> they do it's 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 only natural <clears throat> guys you don't understand <laughs> i've been reading way too much smut for this conversation right now i have to <laughs> i'm stuck There's... on i'm stuck on Baldur's gate fan fiction right now okay <laughs> uh, you guys as soon as this game ends i am going to play Baldur's gate with my husband and we are going to get as many sex scenes as we can yep i, I, I just i just <laughs> finished the game like a few days ago no spoilers my next run is my dark urge i'm doing with dark urge next time too okay sorry sorry, sorry. i think <laughs> i'm gonna stream this too i have to okay, pee okay, so bad okay. we gotta finish right yeah let, that's exactly what i was gonna do as you guys finally walk through this uh thing we're gonna take our 10 minute break and relieve our bladders uh we'll be back here soon guys wait are we taking a 10 minute wait oh we end at nine that's right okay we're gonna take a 10 minute break and okay. you'll see how far you get in these encounters and we can continue next time it's not a big Absolutely. not a big deal uh Daniel! Daniel! <laughs> Daniel! <laughs> <laughs> hi we're back uh let's continue on for at least an encounter so as you guys uh, step into this otherworldly realm of Shadowland, of the Shadowlands, a sense, god damn it, a sense of unease washes over you. Uh, the very air seems to thicken with an otherworldly mist, obscuring your vision and casting eerie shadows upon the desolate landscape. The sky hangs heavy above, devoid of light and celestial bodies. Uh, enveloping the realm in a perpetual darkness. The terrain is unforgiving, with barren plains stretching as far as the eye can see, broken only by jagged mountains that pierce the gloom. Thorny forests stand as twisting remnants of their former beauty. Uh, the ground beneath your feet feels covered in a powdery ash-like substance, a haunting reminder of the desolation that surrounds you. Would somebody like to roll me a d6? Only one person. Who should do it? Anyone. This is, whatever, whatever, encounter, whatever encounter that we go through right now is going to be on you. Or, oh, God, not me. Or oh. uh, two. Oh, yes. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, June got to me first. So oh. we'll go with um, a four right now. Okay. And then we will all go around after that. Um, so as you travel through the Shadowlands, it seems to grow even darker as you go. Um, the air thickening more, uh, becoming heavy unnatural with an unnatural energy. And eerie whispers seem to echo in your ears. Shadows twist and contort, taking on forms in your peripheral vision. What would you like to do? Is there a clear path forward? There is. But you feel like there are, are shadows uh, taking on form in beside you and around you. You hear things. Do you do anything or do you continue on? We still have passed without a trace on us. Has it been an hour? I mean, sure. Yeah, you definitely still have passed without a trace. Can I try? I mean, I have dark vision, okay. as we know. So can I try to look to see if I can see the where the sounds are coming from? Yes. Uh, give me perception. Fifteen, bro. Did I just real read the? Hang on, one second. Yes, that's good. I'm just okay. reading my notes. Okay, I know what you do. Okay, with a fifteen, um, Rosalind, can you tell me a little bit about the person that you say that you killed? I didn't kill them. I just let them die. Those are two you very let, the person things. that you let die to save your parent to your family <coughs> who were they 
Or she would have asked me to elaborate a backstory that I made up on the fly. It's fine. I know, right? It's so um, fucking terrible. This I'm, is the I'm best time. Again. Just get your heart into it. Just, yeah. Bleh. Who were they? Why was it important to you? <clears throat> the person that I let die. In the moment, it was important for me to let a person that I love deeply die in the place of a family member so that was my best friend growing up you hear their voice oh of course i do <laughs> um and i'm gonna say are they angry you hear rosie rosie are you there where are you Um, sounds like it's coming from off to your left right now, which is my right. That's what I just did there because I can tell the difference. So without rolling for perception, my passive perception is 17. Could I tell that this isn't? Your, pa your passive is 17. I mean, you hear whispers, but you're not sure. You didn't hear anyone call for Rosalind so Rosalind are you moving towards it or are you um right now she's kind of frozen because this what did is... you name your fox Quartzly Quartzly I mean yeah. you do hear Quartzly howling off in the distance in front of you Delphra and he he was summoned going through the portal. Gone. Weird. Fuck me. Uh, what is everyone's passes? Uh, 16. Uh, perception? 13. Yeah. 13, 16. Okay, 16. 14. 14. 14. 14. All right, all right, all right, all right. Enough that you would... You would at least all hear all of this and see those shadows. And uh, Clover, where are you right now and what are you doing? I think I'm still perching on Anemone's shoulder because it's because it's comfortable and I don't have to walk. <laughs> That's so <laughs> cute. You hear nothing. You feel alone. You feel an absence of Luna for the first time in your life. You know that you're on Anemone's shoulders and you're not alone, but it's a hollowness that you've never quite felt before, especially considering all of your past. You've been through so much. You've always had Luna. And she's gone. Um, Anemone. Welcome to my world. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get that eye? Anemone doesn't exactly know how she got the eye. All she knows is that she's got this large, almost draconic eye uh, that's embedded into embedded. herself. Yeah. Which means at some point you lost that eye. Which means at some point you were in some sort of fight. You were doing something dangerous. Maybe scared, perhaps. And a fear that fills you right now as that eye begins to throb. Cappy. You hear your mother. You hear her voice. You hear her. Don't. Please don't tell anyone that you're my daughter. Oh. Not in this form. And if you won't fix yourself, no one needs to know. Where is she? I just want to talk. I just want to have a conversation. <gasps> with Rosie! 
Rosie, where are you? Please help me. Sin. <laughs> You're in my world now, sweetling. Seems to be so. Have you come to give yourself over to me? Absolutely not. <laughs> you will. <laughs> or I will make you. I would like to see you try, my lady. And I bow very sarcastically. You hear horrible screams of your party members. You look around, you see your party members are wreathing in pain. They are burning with black flames. I mean, you could make this stop. That's the. Or will you let them die too? If that is the only way you can convince me to serve you, then I think that's rather pathetic. Clover reaches a paw towards you, mewing. Her fur almost singed completely off. I'm like biting my lip because I'm like, I know this is a fucking illusion. Uh, it's cruel. Like my heart is like being ripped apart, but I'm going to like stand stoically. And from there, we're going to jump really quickly over to Clover. Um, what are you doing? What are you feeling? feeling? What's going through your head right now? Feeling for the first time in my life, the absence of Luna. I am terrified. This is, this emptiness is something I have not felt before. But it makes me remember when Luna spoke to me this morning because it's only been such a short amount of time, when she took the form of my duplicate and spoke to me. And I remember that... I remember that Sin is in this alone as well. So I actually say to Anemone, I'll be right back. I'll just, I'll just be over there with Sin. You jump down? And I hope... I hop down from Anemone. You're alone. There's no one anymore. You are well and truly alone and by yourself. Your god has forsaken you. Can you please roll me a wisdom saving throw? Holy shit. Um, I have that circlet on that we just mm -hmm. got from... So I believe that gives me advantage on saving wisdom saving throws. It does. I'm so glad we decided that you get that. Well, well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank oh, God, because one was a two, the other one's a nat 20. Nat 20. Oh, nice. For a total oh, of 27. God. You shake your Holy head. shit. I love you so much. And there's a moment where this despair, this, this feeling of loneliness that claws at you is almost too much and then your little collar flares with the light of luna and you feel her flood back into you every vein in your body ignites with hope and love and comfort because you are not alone you have never been alone and you never will be not when Luna is with you, she will protect you. And you see your party members all kind of splayed out, having wandered off in different directions, all in their own worlds, all panicking just slightly. And before you go to Sin, I'm going to jump over to Delphra. You hear 
your little fox howling for you. It sounds hurt. It sounds almost like it's maybe you've heard, you've heard animals that have been trapped in in animal traps before and Ooh. that's what that's what your baby sounds like right now and it's that doesn't make sense because it's incorporeal um I almost want to make an intelligence check to see if I would be smart enough to even just conjure him myself. You are more than welcome to do so. Don't forget, I think you have advantage now. I do. Thank God. Um, 19. 19. Yeah, a thought definitely. A so definitely happens. I'm going to like just stab my moonsicle, my popsicle on the ground. And I uh, heard it is popsicle. I've been calling it my popsicle like since I got it. It's fine. Um, and just yell like quartzly and like the most like agonizing scream. And does he manifest? Is he allowed to manifest? Do you love me enough to manifest him? <laughs> Immediately, these nine tails wrap around you and a head brushes up against you as your baby is back in your arms. You still hear this howling, this broken creature that sounds very eerily like your baby, but it's not them. It can't be, right? So can I like turn around and be like, it's not real and yell and can we see right now wisdom saving throw fuck off not one oh fuck i want to talk about it okay okay <laughs> currently no you are still alone i mean you're not you still you have your your fox but you still can't see the others you still hear that horrible howling that whimper that's that's the howling that's turning into slowly into a whimper mm. i'm just gonna like curl his head around because he's wrapped around me and just like pet him like just looking everywhere trying to see where people are he gives you comfort and stays with you and can tell that something is off but doesn't see it himself uh Anemone. Your eye burns. It feels like it's weeping. It feels like it's not even there right now. Like blood is kind of just trickling down your face. You're not sure when you got this eye, but something feels wrong. And what languages do you speak? I speak primordial, giant, and common. A language you don't recognize. This growling, sharp language is being spoken in your ear, and it sounds aggressive, almost. What do you do? Could Anemone make a quick insight check to see if she understands that what she's experiencing right now is 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 not real like can, that can. what she's what she's experiencing right now um roll for me is you know come on nine nine you shake your head trying to think that this couldn't be possibly be real and just as you that thought goes across your head. Someone grabs your wrist and pulls you around to them. And that is a feat in itself because you are not a small person, but you get ripped around and you are face to face with a woman made of gold who seems to be missing an eye. And she 
speaks to you in this language that you don't understand. Holding your wrist just way too tightly with a strength that she should not possess. Could I make a quick history check to see? I mean, I can make it with a disadvantage um, to see if she recognizes this individual. Yes. Okay. You don't have to make it with disadvantage. Oh, okay. 23. 23. I mean, this is a form that you have seen in myth before. It is the form of our lith, I believe I said I called her. Your gold dragon, her elven form. Um, She's going to say Oriolanth. That's the one. Um, she's going to whisper that out loud and she'll start saying, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You get pulled she's, towards her. You've been with me for all this time. I, I, I know you, but I don't know you. And she's she's going to stand her ground and she's going to pull out the void strike blade that's in her 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 possession now. And she goes, uh, she will go, whatever entity um, you are, I'm sorry that I walked away from you at any point. Perhaps it was for a good reason. But if you are light, because she sees that this lady is made out of gold, then you are with us. And she'll try to convince this shadowy form that she acknowledges the pain kind of situation, like warrior to warrior. She acknowledges the pain. Give me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, okay. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. 15? She vanishes. Clover? And you see Goodbye. Clover in front of you. You see the others okay. all wrapped up in themselves, but you see that Clover is aware of what is happening. Okay. And I'm going to stop it right there for a second. Kathy. Oh. Your mother. What do you do when you hear those words? I think I I take the the amulet, the charm that the dragon gave me, and I hold it tightly in my hand. Mom? What? Well, you don't even realize my voice anymore. Did that did that curse take away your brain? You could have been something, Cappy. I expected so but, much better from you. I, I couldn't help it. I couldn't. If you couldn't help it, this, if you couldn't help this, what daughter are you of mine? I, I'm trying. I'm really. I hate myself so much right now. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit. I'm so sorry. Shit. <laughs> Emotional damage. Um uh, Mother, I'm trying. I really I, I'm really trying. I just I I couldn't I couldn't do anything about it. You know that you know how wild magic is. It's not it's not something I could could help. I just so wanted to be like out you. a way to turn back. Perhaps you can't help it, but there are always options. Yet I, you decide to continuously shame our family with this I'm, appearance. I'm. I'm, I'm just. I'm trying. Different. I'm just trying to, to do the right thing. I'm I that's why I'm fighting the with the Moonstone sisters. I'm just I'm trying to be a hero like you. 
don't come back as a nap this time. Guys, I think we need more wine. <laughs> Shit. I hate myself. <laughs> is is there anything that you do in this moment? Um or do you just hold that pendant and seem stunned? I think yeah, I think that there's like I'm I think it's just it's too real that like it doesn't occur to me that like yeah, she's not actually here, but just like the emotion is too real that like I can't help but engage with it. Do you um, want to give me a wisdom saving throw? Yeah. Is this Please. against being charmed or frightened? Would I have advantage on it or no? Um, Actually, yes. It doesn't really advantage. matter because you I have, have 22. 22? Mm-hmm. That pendant that you hold right now, you feel obsidian telling you, guiding you. You feel him and you remember his words. It's not the form that matters. It's the heart that holds the heroism. And your mom's voice fades. And you see Clover and Anemone. And you're not alone. And you remember that these sisters accept you for who you are. It's not that you have family. You have family that loves you, that respects you, that sees you as a valued member. Just because one person can't see your worth, it's not a reflection of you. I take the pendant and I put it away. Here's Jess. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And feel free to, ev you guys can X out any fucking time, okay? <laughs> if we ever meet Cappy's mom, I am scratching her fucking <laughs> eyes <color>. out. <laughs> that will be something that you can we'll do. Dead. Awesome. We're just gonna, like, gang up on this bitch. <laughs> BBEG Cappy's mom. <laughs> yeah, like, we're just done. Rosalind. Oh, no. <laughs> they forgot about me. Hi. Why won't you help me? Ros. You're dead. Ros. You're, no. I watched you die. You... you watched. I. You watched. Why? Why wouldn't you help me? I thought we were best friends. Um, can she do? Can she do, do with saving him? throw? Yes. Oh fuck. Um. Oh, okay. Um. Where the hell's my shit? I don't know. There it is. Eighteen. Jesus. She's dead. She is gone. Yeah. And you remember that her last words to you were, it's okay. It's okay. I don't know what you are, but you are not. You are, you are not. You can't be real. You can't be real. I, 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 I don't know if, if you're a ghost um, I don't know, but you are, I, I can't, you said it was okay. I, you understood why I had to do what I did. There's nothing there. You see Clover and Anemone and Cappy. You're not alone. Sin. Mm -hmm. your sisters are crying for you to help them they are begging you to save their lives Clover's little charred body is inches from you and you feel her hand on your foot a weight 
you could make this all stop. All you have to do is let me in. Your threats are empty. You do not have the power to make my friends suffer. You only have the power to make me suffer. Then make me burn. suffer. <laughs> make me suffer. <laughs> Spank me, mommy. Um, <laughs> um, Sin uh, basically doesn't believe that uh, she could harm her friends she she believes this is a threat and she's not taking it in stride but you believe it's her no i believe she's the one speaking to me i think she's just threatening me uh and i believe uh, sin believes that she's poking the she she's looking for a weakness like a for something that will make you right. turn um, give me a wisdom saving throw. What did we decide, Juniper, when we were on the other stream together, that it was about every three episodes that I would cry? Is that it? Yeah. Sounds right. So sorry. Yeah. Keeping it Sounds right. right. This Nine, <laughs> 19. <laughs> this isn't even her. This is oh. just a trick of the land. That's actually you shake out of it. That's and right. Your friends Nix are is around you. So much sexier than that. Um, excuse you. <laughs> <laughs> I look at my friends. They're not on fire, are they? <laughs> They're not. In fact, yeah. you you come face to face. Well, not face to face. You come. You glance down, and Clover is at your feet. A little paw on your foot. Oh, I'm going to like pick her up and I go, Clover, are you all right? I thought for a moment Luna had left us, but she's here. She's here, Sin. She has us. She's here with us. Sweet Clover. We are in a land of darkness. Even if Luna cannot find us, Luna is in us. She's here because we are here and that rings so true all of you you notice that Delphra is the only one who can't seem to snap out of it let's all gather around Delphra everyone yep. Delphra, Delphra you are love feels a group hug yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're all like, let's hug her. And Sin's like, let's shake her awake. It's fine. <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> um, it's a loving shake, okay? <laughs> Laugh her. Fine. Elfra, as you hear these cries of this animal that seem to be just withering away, in that time that you have been trapped in this, a fox with nine tails, a real one it looks like to you, has seemed to appear in front of you. It's its leg caught in a bear trap. And it looks exactly like your little spirit. I'm but just going to like... You feel suddenly, you feel suddenly all of these hands touching you hands that are familiar to you. You feel your sisters. You feel Luna flood back into you. And you can make this next save with advantage. Would you like to give me a wisdom saving throw? Swear to God, if this is another nat one, I'm throwing it across a damn room. Eighteen. And you come to wrapped in your sister's arms. No longer alone. Your little nine tails still wrapped around your legs. Delphi's just gonna like take this deep, deep breath 
and just kind of like look around and be like, hey guys, what's up? <laughs> Welcome back. Okay. Uh, um, yeah. That away? You guys. With this like stunned face on her, like just like, I'm gonna just forget any of that just fucking happened. It wasn't real. It wasn't real. We've got each other. And Luna has us all. Let's go. You walk a couple feet forward. And it's like you feel yourself step through a veil. And that feeling of fear and dread and sadness washes away. <clears throat> and I think that's where we're going to call this session. Okay? Why are all these sessions mm -hmm. so emotional? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing it's around, emotional man. damage. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And Cap Ed Star, I'm <gasps> so fucking sorry. That was horrid. <laughs> Oh Jesus my goodness. Christ, I'm saying this shit and I'm like, I'm gonna go and just cry after this. I'm still crying. Um, <laughs> I'll say the same thing that I said um, when you when you said you were going to be hard in the fight, which is give it to me. <laughs> I, I love d, &D players. <laughs> They're like, just make me break. <laughs> and meanwhile, I'm just give sitting me over all here the like... Trauma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still crying. Shit. Um, yeah, that that's what we're gonna do. That's where we're gonna end this session. We'll figure out. We'll do the next uh, encounters that on the way to Tenbrose's city. Uh, a whole next city, game. oof, a whole city. Yeah. Uh, eventually, we'll get there. Uh, it's a challenge, but I'm a for soon, it. Soon, soon. Um, I just uh, need to meet this hot ass prince, and then we're gone. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just done. Like I should have been a bard, just so I could seduce him and stab him, and we'd all be fine. I'll have you. You can you can multi class into one if you'd like, uh, at some point. You can um, still seduce him as a druid. <laughs> you can. You're not wearing underwear. <laughs> um, <laughs> my no, the underwear was for when like... we are seducing men. <laughs> yeah, but it's a male, and you're not wearing underwear, so you already <laughs> have advantage. Uh, my, per my advantage on zero. <laughs> <laughs> That's, you can still roll you might roll well um yes okay so yes halson has taught me that uh halson 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 oh, yes oh, he's he's so, boo number two for me uh i'm i sneeze so stars I, I wish i was <laughs> i was romancing him right now because i've i've seen some clips he man. calls you his heart like i cannot Dude, he goes down on you. Yes, Full he does. Mm -hmm. Yes, he does. <laughs> um, okay. Full Scarlet. stop. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm Scarlet64. <laughs> if you want to watch me be a uh, dommy mommy, I am DMing out of the abyss tomorrow, uh, six Pacific time. Uh, I also do like Pathfinder games and other DD one shots all throughout the week. And you can find me on TikTok. <laughs> And Instagram, where people love my dessert dragons, because that's the thing that I do. They're so cute. They are really. I just actually today I made a video about the apple cider dragon. Uh, I love it. Because people are now falling into the apple cider versus pumpkin spice camp. And I'm about to blow their minds by introducing a new dragon, which is the eggnog dragon. So are you a pumpkin no, spice apple early. cider or eggnog dragon? Pumpkin spice. Early eggnog. 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 <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's me. Scarlet64 on almost everything. Uh, that friggin' words right now. I'm still like in my own little world. Uh, Star, would you like to go? <laughs> Yeah, hi, I'm Star. Um, I'm Star Mama C on TikTok, and uh, I have a podcast called Characters Without Stories, where I ask people to tell me about characters they haven't had a chance to play yet. And we talk about ca creating characters and what goes into characters and why everybody who is queer discovered that by playing TTRPGs. 
Um, and I am a uh, characters without stories on other places, but I am Star Mama C on TikTok. Uh, and I'll hand it over to N. Hello, everybody. My name is GM of Revan. You can call me N. You can find me on in on the internet as GM of Revan. I like making maps. Uh, I also run a game called Stories of Artalia, uh, Strands of Fate, on Tuesdays. I will pass the mic over to Delbra. Hi, I'm Mommy Kalik, and again, I live under a rock. You can't find me anywhere, but I'll see you next Saturday love uh i believe june and katie have to go so june then katie um hi, juniper uh you can find me most places uh by linen and spice usually tiktok and blue sky um also i play alien for sunday of the month on shattered tabletop games um yeah and katie hi i'm katie um dungeon mistress katie on all the things um tiktok insta here uh I eventually I'll have my own twitchy thingy going on and uh maybe I'll do blue sky I don't know who knows <laughs> who, who 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 could say um and you can find me on Tuesdays on the same channel um in Shadowrun State of the Union and then on every other Wednesday which will be this Wednesday coming up I think um as a yellow power ranger um with the same surname but they are not related because one's an orc um, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's me. So thanks. Okay, everybody. Uh, it's Morphin time and we will see you next, next week. Uh, okay. I love you. Bye-bye.